This is my fifth take this morning. I have wasted seven times three is 21 plus five, 26 minutes on this at least. Because I started somewhere around 6.15 and now it's 7.04 and I still have absolutely nothing to show for it. So last night at about 2.45 a.m., I guess, because I never heard it, um, imminent danger warning came on. Uh, tornadoes in my area get out of my mobile and into a real building. Well, that never happened because I slept through the whole thing and never heard the alarm or anything. <laughs> and here I am. Dun, da, da, da. So you're stuck with me for another morning chat video because the winds of change did not blow me away. Ah, oh, what to talk about. I was at Mike and Maggie's yesterday and uh, Mike's not feeling well because once he left Daytona, when we get to Daytona, he felt so much better has allergy problems and when we got back it really turned south both him and poor Finn just whoosh, running nose and congested head and must be a lot of mean trees around here I've been doing pretty good speaking of which generic Flonase I highly recommend it let me use it for a minute not on camera obviously I eat an extremely watery diet, so that's probably why I haven't needed to take any Claritin. I just do the Flonase and um, lots of fruits and vegetables. That's what I do. So, <clears throat> yeah, imminent threat. Um, it's not light out yet, so I can't see if branches fell or, you know. I'll look later to see if um, in my area, you know, if anything serious happened. But, um, so I was at my kid's place and I said to Mike, let me get you Claritin D. He says, I have Claritin. I says, is it Claritin D? And he said, no, it's just Claritin. I said, do the Claritin D for several days. It it really makes a difference along with the Flonase. So I grabbed my purse. I grabbed the car keys and I drove over to the CVS. <laughs> And I parked the car and realized that I left my wig at their apartment. And all I had was my bald head because I cut all my hair off. And so I'm like, well, Jada Smith has done it and a bunch of other actresses with hair loss problems that have shaved their heads and just go around with shaved head. So I went in, acted like it was normal, and so did everybody else. Nobody stared at my head. Nobody gave me a second glance. I think they treated me kinder at the first window. That's probably because she was a nice woman. The second one window was, can I help you? Yes, I would like some Claritin D. Generic or brand. I said, well, I'd like to know what the difference is. There's really no difference. I said, okay, so how about price difference? Do you want the 10, the 30, the 15, the 5, the 8? I'm like, let's try 15s. How much are the 15 in your brand and the 15 in Claritin D brand? Blah, 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 blah. I said, that's just a $5 difference. I'll take the brand name. Just in case. So, you know, I want my son to feel better. So I bought the Claritin D and took my bald head and my Claritin D and I left. Got back to Mike and said, I hope you know how much I love you. I went in there with my naked mole rat head and, um, <laughs> Which made Maggie laugh. Mom, you're not a naked mole rat. Okay. 
All right. I don't know. I prefer no hair to hair. I gotta tell you. So, I mean, wigs are itchy and they're hot and they make me feel self-conscious and in public. Because people stare at me when I have a wig on. They do not stare at me when I'm bald. Is it because... They look quickly and say, she's bald, don't stare. But with the wig, it's like, what is that on her head? What is that on her head? Why is that on her head? <clears throat> okay, so this is take number five, I think. And uh, hopefully we're going to stick with this one. What else about, the, oh yes, I'm cooking beans today. I soaked my pink beans overnight and later I'm going to rinse them off and then, then what am I gonna do? I think they said 10 cups of water? 10 cups of water? What am I gonna do with all those beans? Oh, I know what, one thing I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna try this recipe I found online, collards and beans. That sounds scary, um, but it sounds interesting, right? Now, if you can afford it, you can add bacon or sausage or ham to it. I'm just going to do vegetarian beans, collards, some vegetable broth, I think, onions, garlic, bay leaf, throw in a, maybe a little coriander for good measure, you know stuff and um and i'll call it a day i'm not gonna make a ton of them i don't think maybe i'll well i'm gonna cook all the beans in broth and water and bay leaf and onion and garlic etc because why not and then i could take some of those and freeze them Yes, you can freeze beans. It happens. And I might make, do you know what I'll make? Mashed potatoes. I have a bunch of older potatoes that I just pulled out of the, they're so tiny. Ugh, I'm going to have to, you know, peel them all. And it's good though. I'm, I'm a fast peel, but not so fast since I have arthritic hands, you know, and, um, my arthritis is really acting up lately because we've been getting rain, 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 and um, and my oh, my right hip is so sore. But oh, don't complain. You sound like an old lady. I guess I've lost subscribers. I was up to one thousand four hundred and seventy, and now I'm back to one thousand four hundred and sixty. That seems to be my steady number. Um, I think I'm getting boring. Um, maybe repetitious. Maybe I'm not as poor as I thought I was. Maybe I'm not as poor as others thought I was. So I've probably lost some there. I get it. I, I have to identify with people that I watch, you know. And it's really hard to identify with people with really fancy homes and cars. And it's really hard to identify with people that, like, travel all over the world. And it's really hard to identify with people with, like, $75,000 vans. It's like, huh? So, um, yeah, the underdoggy, the underdoggy, the kind of under over doggy. That's not really an underdog, but it's not really an overdog. It's kind of like a, in the middle of under over and in between. What? What a rampage. <gasps> so, Ideas. Yes, I have so many ideas. I know, I know, I know. I'm not supposed to sell my trailer. Listen, I don't want to be here when they start construction behind me. Do you know what that's going to be like? Let me tell you what it's going to be like. They're going to dig up the ground. There's going to be dust. There's going to be like the wind picks up. It's going to be literally being sandblasted sandblasted they're gonna sandblast my trailer they're gonna sandblast my brand new window ac unit 
I'm going to be covered in dirt and I'm not going to be able to run that AC unit in the back. I'm going to have to shut that room down and move to this room so I could use my AC units. And even that one right there is going to be being sandblasted. They're going to put a fence up, supposedly, behind the trailers. It might help a little, but when these winds pick up, it's going to be all open. They're going to take all the trees down. It's going to be a sandstorm. It's going to come over that fence, and it's going to cover everything. I don't think I want to be here for that. I know how aggravated I'm going to be. But it's your home. I don't care. I care and I don't care. Look, I'm thinking to myself, if I had that 27000 in hand, now I can't keep all of it, and I'm going to have to trade my car in for something bigger because I'd want to travel for a while and I'd want to do some tenting and I'd probably go join up with Rachel for a while and she has a little camper she just bought. She bought a little um, a canned ham, uh, uh, an original one, uh, but it needs work. So she's going to be working on that until she's ready to hit the road. And I'd like to be with her. <laughs> it's tough. I love Michael, Denny, and Maggie so much in my fin. And yeah, it feels really safe to be here and to be near them. So, you know, I'm struggling with that. That issue of I love them and there's such support to me. And I don't know how I would have made it through these days, through this first year without them. Let me get a grip. Oh dear, emotional me. I could rent this place out. That's another possibility. Um, I have thought about that. I actually was looking at the flooring over at um, Home Depot yesterday. And um, I was looking for lattice to cover up a part of my trailer skirting that fell over the blocks. And I didn't want to have to, like, pull off the screening and try to level the ground and put those blocks back up. And they, you know, got to be, like, staggered. Stuff. My back's really bad. And um, I, I just was at Mike and Maggie's last night doing dishes and babysitting a little bit. Not really... The dishes killed me. My back is so screwed up this morning. My neck, just, you know, using my hands, bending over. I don't do well. I don't. Yeah, and that's another issue. I get it. You're thinking, how are you going to drive all over the place? Well, I, I'm thinking that. Well, I wouldn't, actually, because I wouldn't have enough money to, like, really travel, travel. I figured... I'd start out the end of March, leaving Florida, do Georgia for a month, next check, move up into the Carolinas, next month, next check, etc. So it'd be March, April, May. I wouldn't get up north till about June or July. And then I'd stay put. And then the one thing I want more than anything is to do October in New England. It's home. And all roads lead home. I just want to go home. I'll be back. So that's how I would plan to do it. I can do shows along the way. I have a lot of paper still. God, I've had a lot of paper. And um, there's a lot of good flea markets in the Ohio, Pennsylvania area because they're on the outskirts of the bigger cities, so you get the city dealers coming in and they'll be looking for stuff. So that was just kind of one of my ideas. If I rented this place out, I have residual income, probably wouldn't even have to do any work. I could just relax, see things, enjoy life. And it's on my mind. 
So I found flooring for $1.17 a square foot. Could do that. I do have a problem with the main floors being a little higher by about a half an inch than the bathroom floors. And um, those are tile and they shouldn't even be there. I could spend this year trying to... Um, get rid of as much of that paper as possible and getting this place in rentable condition and then make my goal uh, to get out of here um, next March. Rent this out for a year. And um, because, you know, there's a housing shortage here and uh, there's a trailer just down the road from me a um, few down they want 1300 for that I'd be good at like 1100 a month for this yeah believe it or not I could actually get that because it's going to be um, about 510 at least for lot rent next year and then I'm going to want about 500 for myself but you know I'm going to have to have a guy that's on call for me that does any repair work. And that's the scary part. I I don't know. It has plumbing issues that, you know, need to be upgraded and updated. And um, that's rather nerve-wracking. Having a jack-of-all-trades that I know would come when I needed someone to come to be on call right away and then there's going to be that expense you know so that's a possibility that way everyone doesn't have to freak out and you know like oh my god you know you're leaving your house don't do that I could at least make it work for me maybe financially That flooring is so cute. I wish I could show you. It's on my phone, so I can't. It's um it it looks like planking. Someone, one of my viewers recommended said, you know, there's this sheet flooring and it looks just like the the planks and oh my gosh, you know, there's planks underneath this living room floor. Um there was a regular floor and I started putting the planks down and instead of pulling them all back up again, we just had to put plyboard on top of it. So there's a lot of weight already on this floor. And um, that bothers me. It's got two floors and some planking. That stuff was really sturdy stuff. I ended up selling it to some guy for like two-thirds of um, what I paid for it. And uh, yeah, that's gone. So that was gone a long time ago when I realized, wow, there'll be no planking on this floor. But the, that thin vinyl um, sheeting should be really okay. Hopefully no one falls through the floor and I won't be sued. I don't have much. What are they going to take from me? So, um, yeah, so, you know, that's a possibility there. And that way, like, if I needed my house back, I could say, oh, I'm sorry, but, you know, you're going to have to move out. I hate to do that to someone, but I just would do a month to month. If I don't like them, they should leave. And if they don't like me, they should leave. But that's, you know, something that's going through my mind. That's a possibility, too. Meanwhile, it's up for sale, and... uh I can always say no. I mean, I, just because I have it up for sale doesn't mean I have to sell it. I'm thinking. I'm seeing what the climate is for selling it for that amount. So, yeah, just minor ramblings this morning. It's my struggles as a widow with a limited income. This is where I'm at right now.
but later I'm going to be cooking pink beans and collards. Wee! So um, I will try to video that to the best of my ability, and probably not in this wig, because it itches something awful. Ugh. Well, that's it for my morning chat. I've lived through another tornado warning here in sunny Florida. Hair in sunny Florida. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. What do I do now? This place is a disheveled mess. Ah, there's boxes everywhere. Boxes of photos, boxes of wigs, boxes of books. I gotta do something. Okay, I'm going. Bye.